Hi guys, and welcome to the Thrive and Survive Research Hub. Guys, it's episode five of the series on sleep. I just want to congratulate you on making it to the end of the week, and thank you for the time that you've shared with me. I know that it's very valuable, and I appreciate it. Okay, today, there are two things we want to focus on. Melatonin and light. So what's melatonin? Melatonin is a hormone that is produced by pineal gland. Not the pineal gland, okay? <laughs> the pineal gland in your brain. And what it does is it induces a state of sleepiness. I just want to take a moment to acknowledge that it took me five episodes to make a dick joke. So, yay, immature. Okay, carrying on. So, there are cells in our brain that block the production of melatonin. And these cells get activated by light exposure. Now, moving on to the subject of light, the only thing that you guys need to remember about light is that there are three different types of light. Short wavelength light, medium wavelength light, and long wavelength light. For our conversation today, we're going to focus on short wavelength light, which is also known as blue light. Okay, the reason that's important is because short wavelength light is the type of light that most activates the cells that blocks melatonin production. Where do we get this from? We get it from screens. <laughs> screens have been linked with a high amount of volume of blue light. So, with this in mind, there's two things we want to do today. 90 minutes before your desired bedtime, dim the lights in your environment, guys. Turn off the overhead lights, turn on the side lamps. Use candles, you know, set the mood and make it dramatic. Whatever it takes, dim the lights. The second thing, and I know this is a lot to ask, but guys, please limit your screen time as much as possible. Tell your girlfriend good night. Today you are prioritizing your sleep. <laughs> Turn off the Netflix. It's okay, it's not going anywhere. <laughs> Just do whatever it takes to limit your screen time. A side note for my friends who work late into the evening, I know there's nothing you can do about it. It's a part of your lifestyle. Something that may help is blue blockers so I know not everyone's crazy about blue blockers and the facts are the facts there's no evidence to support that blue blocking with glasses reduce eye strain however they do limit the amount of short wavelength exposure that we get from screens so for this specific purpose of having to work late into the evening I do think it helps to use blue blocking glasses so guys that is end of week one, sleep done and dusted. I'm sending you off into the weekend, hoping that you are going to kill your sleep game. Once again, thank you so much for your time. Have a great weekend. We'll chat next week. I've got a great topic coming up and please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks guys.